let's choose a look for Ariel. Tail made out of red sequins sparkles like scales. We can make neon fins out of this folder. And a sparkly top made out of athletic fabric will make Ariel the most stylish girl at her school. With a sequin headband, any hairstyle will look like it's from a beauty salon. This look really suits our mermaid. Oh. And this pom-pom belt is so fun! <laughs> Ariel loves spending time with her friends. Nini the fish and Uni the narwhal. They always have so much fun together. What will they think of this time? Hmm. Ariel invited her friends to play hide and seek. She closed her eyes and started counting. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Hmm, where are you hmm. hiding? I'd recognize this red tail anywhere. First, she found Nini. Let's look for Uni together. You can see her horn. Oh, it's not her. <laughs> they thought I was coral. <laughs> it's so interesting to look at the world through underwater crystals. Look at that. Well, it's light blue. Oh, I'm dizzy. Nimi, give me a green stone. Wow, it's like everything is covered in seaweed. Let's play more. <laughs> and this mermaid is Noelle. <laughs> Ursula's daughter. She prefers dark makeup. Dark lips, purple eyeshadow. Wow. Looks like someone's been playing with mom's makeup. <laughs> Lilac blush. That's it. She looks just like her mom. Cover the hairless spots with brown acrylic paint to match. We made a crown out of a small net. Wow. Sheer tops and layering is in this season. Noelle doesn't follow fashion, but she is wearing a trendy outfit. Use thick dark velour for the tail. A couple of magic snaps, and the fins are ready. Give the folds some texture. A fin adds extra speed, so she can make it to school even when she's late. And it looks pretty, too. The sea witch is really proud of Noelle. <laughs> she loves her daughter so much. Yuck, the seaweed smells terrible. Mom is doing rituals again. Ursula didn't finish what she started. Mom, I need to go to school. First, check your backpack. Make sure you have everything ready. <laughs> Let's turn Ken into Triton, the powerful ruler of the underwater world. Glue on a thick beard and wool mustache. Everyone in the ocean recognizes his signature gray hair. Hmm. Use wooden skewers covered with gold acrylic paint to make a crown. We can use this fabric for the tail. Fold the edges and make a piece. Thanks to a frame made of wire, you can bend the tail in different ways. Put synthetic stuffing inside. The tail is almost ready. Hmm. We just need to add a couple of fins. You can swim anywhere with a tail like this. Triton is wearing bracelets with stones on his wrists. You can see them shining even through the muddy water. Cut a triton out of thick cardboard. Secure it to a wooden skewer and paint it gold. Add some shine with glittery acrylic paint. A trident for the sea king is ready. Beware everyone who dares to disobey him. Triton is a powerful king and he has infinite riches. Even the wisest men and powerful mermaids come to him for advice but he still loves his little fish flounder. <laughs> and he is a doting father to Ariel. <laughs> Cut many leaves out of black paper. Fold the pages in half. We made a thick notebook. Glue the spine and secure it with a binder clip. Add pages inside. Secure the binding with a rubber band so the pages don't fold. Shells are always a good idea. A perfect dark notebook is ready. Noelle doesn't always write school stuff in it. But only she knows how many secrets the notebook holds. <laughs> 
Choose a shell and make outlines on black foam paper. We can make a backpack out of the pieces. Add a cord and a small shell. And highlight the bigger shell silver. And decorate the backpack with a shell. It has so much space. All the school supplies fit inside. Noelle is getting ready for school. Eels will always help her find her things around the house. I got my notebook, my pen. Okay, I'm ready. Mom, it's time to call the whale. <laughs> Make an alarm clock out of an old clock face. Wrap it with a cord with a gold thread. Add a long bell and rhinestones to the top. And a base made out of a crystal shell is gorgeous. Decorate the clock face with small shells and glitter. I wonder how it rings. Ariel is still sleeping. Fishes are sleeping with her. An alarm that sounds like a foghorn will wake everyone up. Fishes immediately came to wake the mermaid up. I already woke up. <laughs> My morning starts from some exercise. It makes me feel more alert. Cut the foam paper strip and give it a round shape. Shape it as an armchair and decorate with sequins. Nice to meet you. This is Ozzy and he drives Noelle to school. Attach an elastic band and a seat to it. The whale is the best means of transportation in the sea. Mom, call the whale. Ozzy, come here, quick. I need to get Noelle to school immediately. The mermaid jumped into the seat and the whale started swimming. <laughs> Ariel is missing something. <gasps> That's right, her bag. We'll definitely find something in the chest of shells. Glue the two parts. Cover them with glitter. Put a layer of tulle to the inside. Add a small shell. And a sequin handle will become a new trend. You'll see. Add a special nail polish to the sides. It has such a shiny texture. Mermaid fashionistas would stand in long lines for this purse. But Triton decided to give his daughter a present himself. The mermaid is reading a book about different kinds of fins. She's getting ready for her classes. Uh -huh. Sorry for distracting you. I have a surprise for you. I think it's time to get you a new bag. Wow, Dad, it's so great. You're my hero, thanks. <laughs> Ariel and Triton even danced their family dance. Ursula is taking Noelle to school. Triton and the sea witch meet near the entrance. Hmm. Beardy, you're here too. I can't believe that our daughters are in the same class. That's terrible. Mm. I agree. Noelle, I don't want you to be friends with Triton's offspring. Ariel, don't ever talk to the daughter of this sea witch. Ariel also has a favorite notebook. Cut a lot of pages shaped as shells. Make openings and connect them with a jump ring. And a hard cover made out of a glittery shell will not let the pages fold. It's simple, convenient, and beautiful. Both mermaids are straight A students. They were concentrated only on listening to the teacher, but they accidentally touched their tails. <laughs> oh, saved by the bell. The girls decided to talk during recess. Hi. You have such a pretty notebook. Can I look at it? Of course, here you go. Do you like it? It's yours. Wow, thanks a lot. It turns out they have a lot in common. And they won't fight just because their parents don't like each other. Nonsense. Friendship is more important. <laughs> Once upon a time, Elsa was taking a walk on the beach. She decided to take a break, watch the sea, and listen to the sounds of a seashell. Suddenly, she heard a whisper. Today is the only day you can enter the underwater world and become a mermaid for a day. 
Let's make a tail out of blue fabric and lace. Measure the doll and cut out the right piece. Join two identical pieces and turn them right side out. Make a silver top out of a brocade wow. ribbon. Decorate the central part with a metal starfish. Make two pairs of fins out of synthetic lace. The third pair of fins will be made of soft plastic from a stationary folder. Glue all the fins to the edge of the tail. Elsa is ready to become a real mermaid. <laughs> she can swim anywhere she wants with her beautiful new tail. When you're in the underwater kingdom, you need a seahorse. Take tinfoil, some wire, toilet paper, and a small ball Elsa brought. Make a hole in the ball. Pull a wire through it. Shape it to make a seahorse. Add more texture using toilet paper. Coat it with tape. A few layers and the frame is ready. Cover it with tinfoil. Add layers of modeling clay. Work on the face. Add eyeballs and the brow ridges. Make a holder out of plant support stakes. Install it into shelly limestone rocks. Make a first layer of white acrylic paint and a second one of blue acrylic paint. Cut ears out of transparent fabric. Add more texture with a modeling tool. Make a round seat out of light clay. Attach the ears to the head and paint over the attachment points. Let's add pupils and highlights. Elsa brought us some synthetic lace and organza fabric. It will help us create a mane. Cover the seat with Elmer's glue and sprinkle with glitter. Add a brocade ribbon. Make a bridle out of a corset lace and metallic cardboard circles. Elsa got on her favorite horse. It's great that you can come with me even underwater. Cut the ends off a plastic snowflake and prepare some Christmas decorations. Decorate the stone with them to imitate seaweed. Jasmine also wants to check out the underwater world. I found these amazing fabrics on this stone. It's perfect for my mermaid outfit, that's for sure. The first layer of the tail will be made of athletic fabric. Coat it with lace. Make a top out of sequin fabric. Add a seashell to the center and paint it white. Make gorgeous straps out of metallic synthetic fabric. What a nice sparkly piece of plastic. Cut out a few pairs of fins and glue them to the bottom of the tail. These pins are so sparkly. They could become sapphire earrings for Jasmine. Decorate the hair with a ribbon. Attach a gold shell to the center of the headband. Jasmine turned into a perfect mermaid. <laughs> Ariel was chilling under palm trees and drinking a cocktail. I hear someone flying. It's a stork who brought fabrics for me. Now I totally have to visit the underwater world. I haven't been there for ages. Use athletic fabric and some lace to make a comfy tail. Open a shell and cover it with metallic acrylic paint. Add silver brocade straps to the top. <laughs> Blue plastic plus green plastic equals beautiful fins. Cover the blue ones with mesh fabric. Apply glittery acrylic paint to the green fins. A starfish painted yellow decorates Ariel's hair. <laughs> the little mermaid is ready to go back home. <laughs> Make a purse. Paint the outside blue and the inside silver. Glue on an accessory chain and small rings. Elsa carries perfume in her purse. Take a plastic pendant. 
cut a piece of a straw. Glue it to the bottleneck and make a dot with a marker. I'll spray it a couple of times. I love this scent. Elsa put her favorite perfume inside her purse. Olaf is here to go with Elsa. Use styrofoam to shape the body and the head. A spool of wire turns into two small arms. Add hair, pupils, and eyebrows. Hello, miss me? I just got fins made out of clear plastic. It was super unexpected. I've been afraid of water my whole life, and now I don't melt in it because of magic. Let's make flounder. What fish should I choose? Let's take this one. Cover it with white paint. Then paint it yellow. Paint the fins blue. Paint the face. <laughs> Stormy the seahorse wants to go with Ariel. We painted the toy purple. And now let's paint the eyes. Use a light shade of felting wool to make a thick mane. Glue a pair of plastic ears and a seat. Stormy is such a good seahorse. No wonder he's Ariel's favorite. I'm so happy we're traveling in the underwater world together. Let's use these plastic shell-shaped pendants to make a compact. We'll use this metallic cardboard as a mirror. Choose the right shade Cut out a circle. I need waterproof makeup when I'm traveling underwater. <laughs> Raja wants to take a swim. We made a figurine and covered the face with acrylic paint. Draw yellow eyes, black stripes. Make the nose and the ears pink. Cut a piece out of short artificial fur. Use it to make chest fur and mutton chops. Tie on a gold brocade ribbon. Attach a seat to it. My little tiger, you're ready to come with me on all of my adventures. I wish a boo were here too. Make a monkey figurine out of light clay. Add eyes. Draw eyebrows. Make hair and sideburns out of felting wool. Abu has a blue hat made out of light clay. Cut pieces out and make a vest for the monkey. Oh, oh, ah! Abu really missed us. Now everyone's here and I'm so happy. Cut a circular piece out of soft plastic from an old folder. Give it some texture. Glue the bottom to a gold shell and Highlight the fan with acrylic paint and glitter. Inside, there's a small gold pearl that is attached to a brocade ribbon. <laughs> now every princess has her own accessories. <laughs> Flounder, nice to meet you. I'm Olaf, the very first underwater snowman, a local celebrity. Oh, another fan of my jokes. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Glug, glug. Guys, we need to leave now. It's time to go back to shore. Abu and Flounder swam to tell the princesses about Olaf. Jasmine and Ariel <laughs> just laughed. We've already heard so much about him. Raja, Noki, and Stormy turned into such beautiful seahorses. The princesses are having so much fun underwater. Let's have a race to that reef and back. Let me introduce myself. I'm Audrey, but everyone in the underwater world knows me as Gold Mermaid. Luckily, we have light clay. Soon, a new top is ready. Add some texture so it looks like shells. Did the clay harden? Yay! It's time to paint it gold. Strings of rhinestones will make the top look even prettier. Attach a ribbon. And three rows of gold chains will ring with each step. Wow, new underwear from Ariel's Secret? We'll use sequined fabric to make a tail. And the zippers help you easily get the tail on and off. Shape the fins. A chain goes over the sides. 
I can't wait to swim in them. <laughs> With a powerful fin like this, it's easy to travel long distances underwater. Audrey already swam to the treasure chest. I only got a gold chain. It's mine now. Audrey will show us her home. I live in a great place. Just look how beautiful the sea floor is. The mermaid is friends with everyone. <laughs> sea stars swim closer, and octopuses wave their tentacles when they see her. Everyone who lives in the underwater kingdom loves Gold Mermaid. Her sister is a silver mermaid named Miana. Let's measure her. She needs a sparkly tail. We need a fin made out of silver sequins to match. Look, it just appeared. A three-layer fin makes it easy to maneuver between reefs. And it looks pretty too. The waist is decorated with a silk cord and crystals. And chains on the sides make the tail even more elegant. Miana has a unique style. Instead of a swimsuit, she wears an open silver top with sleeves. I'm the life of the party. <laughs> the cut and sleeves have sparkly sequins on them. The top and the tail get connected with silver chains. Just look at my outfit. Every detail is perfect. <laughs> but her makeup isn't perfect. Silver lipstick will be a much better choice. I'm so happy that Lalalu helped me out. I knew they'd do a great job. And now I look amazing. <laughs> Miana lives in cold water. Everything here is silver and sparkly, just like fresh snow. Even the animals. Look at the starfish. And a shell lets the silver mermaid hear the echo of gold waters. Hello? She isn't answering me. Special magic means Miana can conjure a silver rain. My power comes from silver shells. Here's one. The mermaid is enjoying her underwater life. <laughs> Glue a couple of layers of styrofoam. Create the right texture. Make the back of the throne out of shells. The throne is gold and sparkly. There are crystals at the bottom. And gold rhinestones are everywhere. Chains cover each of the shells. What a gorgeous throne! Audrey dreams of taking it one day so she can rule the sea floor. For now, her father Triton holds the throne. I know that my gold mermaid is dreaming about a throne like this. I'll surprise her. Audrey, you're already a grown-up. Yes, Dad. Why are you saying that now? I have a surprise for you. <gasps> what is it? I can't wait. Take a seat. This throne is yours. It looks just like mine. Wow, I can't believe it. I was born to sit on a throne like this. I have a trident in one hand. Oh, I got carried away. <laughs> You're the best dad in the world! Let's connect a key and a wooden skewer. Silver skewers will become a trident. Cover the attachment points under a shell. Paint the wood silver and cover it with chains. There's also a crystal in the middle. The trident gives special powers to its owner. And you can only inherit it, not buy it. Do you remember my trident? It's time for you to have your own. The silver one was created for me. But you need to prove your worth in combat. The dad and the daughter decided to have a competition. Luck was on Miana's side. Yay, I won! I'm proud of you, little mermaid. Now the trident is yours. Audrey will be so jealous. <laughs> we'll need half of a dog figure. Why use paws when you have such a powerful clay tail? Add a strong fin. Decorate the waist with rhinestones. And the fin is all sparkly. What a cute dog. Bark, bark, glug, glug. A long time ago, mermaids saw dogs that live on land. Centuries later, magic gave underwater dogs their tails. They can breathe underwater and swim long distances. And they're very cute. Do you want to play? Fetch! Catch the star! The dog brought it back right away. What a good underwater boy! <laughs> Draw a big shell on styrofoam. 
the back of the throne has the right shape. Make a seat out of four layers. Cover the whole throne with metallic acrylic paint. Apply a sticky layer of polish and sprinkle it with silver glitter. Let's add a foam paper seat so it's more comfortable to sit on the throne. Decorate the throne with silver chains and sea-themed decorations. The glitter is so sparkly. Great job, Lalalu. Okay, I have a trident now. That means I can do new magic. Where is my wand? Let's work together. Throne, I want a throne. Oop, my first attempt wasn't very successful. A stool isn't what I wanted. The second try. Throne, I command you to appear. Oh, it looks so dark. The trident took it from a vampire castle. Wrong again. <sighs> Finally, the third attempt worked. <laughs> Miana managed to learn how to use her trident. Now she has her own silver throne. <gasps> Cut a small rectangular piece out of cardboard. Add a layer of glue and sprinkle it with glitter. This is a gold card from a local underwater bank. Everyone in Triton's family uses it. There is a gold cord on the sides of the card. Storing your gold in chests is so old fashioned. That's what pirates do. <laughs> Modern mermaids opened bank accounts a long time ago. Audrey was playing with her dog, Timmy. He loves fetching starfishes. After another throw, he smelled something new. And it sparkles too. Timmy, did you bring me a starfish? Oh, my card. Where did you find it? <laughs> I can go shopping again. Yay, good boy. The mermaid went to a boutique to find something to complete her look. There are so many stylish things here. The store employee is here to help. Are you looking for a designer dress? Absolutely not. I need something special. We have accessories for every taste. You don't have anything that I like. We also have one rare item, a gold crown. An old ring? It's been in its box for a long time. Now we only need a headband. The sea brought a lot of shells to the store. Let's collect smaller ones and decorate the crown with them. It already looks pretty, but it will look even prettier when it's gold. Small parts of a chain look great on here. That's so pretty, I want it. The mermaid immediately wanted to try it on. The crown is exactly what Audrey wanted. This crown was made for me. I'll take it. Here's my gold card. Oh, I can't believe how beautiful it looks. Thanks for your purchase. I'll recommend your boutique to everyone. We'll need a ring for Miana's crown. Silver skewers look like rays of light. And there are sparkly crystals on the bottom. We need more rhinestones. I need to have the most beautiful crown in the underwater world. We can relate to Miana. You just can't look away from any accessory like this. The mermaids took their thrones. You look great, sister. Oh, Audrey, your crown is incredible. I'll easily create one like that with magic. Oops, Miana needs more practice with <laughs> magic. A tinfoil crown doesn't look as good as the gold one. Don't get upset, sister. When I was shopping, I thought of you. I had to go back, but I got this crown. That's so sweet. It's beautiful. Thank you for the gift. Now both sisters are sitting on a throne. Meow. This cat is lost, but Miana wouldn't just walk away. She petted him and took him home. We just need to create a tail and fins with magic. Then this cat will be able to live underwater. The pet's fur became silver. And the cat also wears a silver collar with rhinestones. It's surprising, but sea cats, like land cats, love playing with feathers. Meow. The silver mermaid asked her father, Triton, if she could have her pet back. Are you still missing that stray cat? Yes, we were best friends. Look how many animals we have. Do you want a deer? No, that's not right. Maybe you should get a dog. <laughs> Dad! Oh, you're giving me a headache. Fine, you can have your cat. Yay, he's the best sea cat. We were made for each other. 